Hi everybody, it's Cindy at Upcycle Design Lab. Today in the lab we're going to be taking some things you probably have laying around the house and making them into this desk organizer calendar carousel. Alright, the supplies you're going to need to make this project are four empty CD cases, one toilet paper tube, some thin cardboard, a cereal box or cracker box will work. You also need some scraps of corrugated cardboard. You're going to need a couple of sheets of 12 by 12 matching uh, scrap of paper. I chose this part paper and you'll need all of your other scrap, uh, scrapbooking supplies. You need uh, some marbles. Where did I put them? Here they are. They're very noisy. I've already dumped them on the floor once, so I'm leaving them in this container, but you need about 12, 15 marbles. You're going to need a dowel rod about five or six inches long, and if you don't have that, you can use a uh, wooden pencil. You want some duct tape, and you want it to match the scrap of paper that you've chosen for the inside of the carousel. You also need some bottle caps, the six bottle caps I used uh, from the from old milk cartons, a uh, hot glue gun, some E6000 glue, some heavy duty cutters. These are nice scissor shapes so they're really easy to use. You need a pair of regular scissors, a ruler, and a pen or pencil. All right, so this is just to kind of show you how the carousel goes together. Um, you can obviously fill, decorate any way you want. So I chose to do some calendar cards. This one's upside down. They're all upside down. All right, here we go. Um, you could also, this is my interior paper, so it faces in like that. And you could certainly hook that in if you wanted to. But, um, I don't usually do a lot of scrapbooking, but I kind of had fun with this project, and I just made these calendar cards, like I said before, and then each of the two of the sides I put pictures on, and the picture color, uh, the pictures, the paper matches the month of the year. So I did, I got all of my scrapbooking. Uh, done for the year. I don't usually do a lot of scrapbooking. Um, one last thing, full disclosure, I did pick one CD case that did not want to shut very well, so I have to use a little piece of tape. So when you're picking the CD cases, make sure that they snap tightly together, otherwise they won't hold, or you just can't put as much in them. But uh, here again, then I just put, chose a quote for each month, then put the matching paper on it. Um, you could do, you know, you can fill this however you want, but uh, it does hold easily 12 thin sheets of paper, and then obviously when you do a little scrapbooking, it makes them thicker, so you can kind of play around with it. You don't, you, they don't hold a ton, but they do hold a significant amount, and then you can just uh, switch out each month as the month progresses, or you could fill it any way you wanted. To start this project, you'll need four empty CD cases, and you just need to uh, take the paper and the plastic insert out of all four of them. The next step is to take some heavy-duty cutters. Um, I bought these at Home Depot for $10, $15, and I use them for a lot of different things, so I really like these cutters. Um, and you're just going to cut kind of the circle shape out of two of the plastic inserts. Here I'm just taking a piece of duct tape and sealing off one of the holes. There's kind of a top side and a bottom side to the CD case, um, so I'm taking the back side and sealing that off. And then there's a little bit of a lip left where the CD popped into the case. That's what I'm calling the top side. So you're going to, with these two pieces, you're going to sandwich those, the top sides facing each other. 
and I'm just putting some bottle caps in here to as a spacer to make it, the piece a little thicker. Here I'm just cutting, measuring and cutting some scrap cardboard into a three quarter inch strip and then I'm going to tape them together and just double check that the strip goes all the way around my CD cases that I've just glued together. Here I'm using a piece of duct tape to cover the cardboard piece that I just made and then I'm going to roll it up to add some curl to it. The next step is to glue the pieces together. You want to make sure that the bottom of the strip is flush with the bottom of the CD cases. Um, that's the side with the tape on it. And then the other side should stick up over the top edge by about a quarter of an inch. Here I'm just adding some hot glue to the top edge since the, there wasn't a lot to glue the edges to, so I'm just securing it with some more glue. To make the base, I cut four pieces of corrugated cardboard at four and seven eighths inch square. And then I also took the last two CD inserts and just cut the edges off so that they would also be square. Once that was done, I marked the centers of the cardboard pieces and punched holes through the center and just made sure that all the holes lined up and that the dowel rod fit through them smoothly. Here I'm just using the hot glue to glue all four pieces of the cardboard together. To glue the plastic insert to the cardboard, I'm using a combination of E6000 glue and hot glue just to get a quick hold from the hot glue and a more durable hold from the E6000 glue. So I'm using one of the plastic pieces and gluing it with the face of the case toward the cardboard and then the other one I'm gluing the opposite direction. Here I'm just reshaping a toilet paper tube to make it a little smaller of a coil and a little more sturdy. And then I'm cutting four more pieces of corrugated cardboard um, three inches by four inches and covering one edge with some duct tape and then using a glue stick and some pretty paper cut at three inches by eight inches to cover all four of the pieces. Here I'm using some duct tape to close off one of the ends of the tube and then I'm going to cover it with some pretty paper as well. To assemble all the pieces I'm using some hot glue to glue the tube into the center and then to glue each of the cardboard pieces to the center piece pointing towards each of the corners. To assemble the box, I'm using a combination of E6000 glue and hot glue again, and I'm just putting it along the edge of the corrugated cardboard. The jewel case itself for the CD has an open part at the bottom, and you want to make sure that that part is facing out. Uh, otherwise the CD case won't open and you also won't have anything to glue to. Here I'm just using some duct tape to secure the top corners of the jewel cases together to hold the top of the box uh, secure. And then I'm just going to finish the edge with some more duct tape.
To finish the inside of the box, I'm just putting some paper inserts cut from the decorative paper to match the inside. And they're cut at 4 and 5 eighths by 5 and 3 eighths. The wooden dowel is cut at about 5 inches and then hot glued into the center of the stand. You want to make sure that it's straight up and down, otherwise your uh, carousel won't spin smoothly. Here I'm just using the hot glue gun to make sort of a reservoir so, so the marbles will just roll around the outside edge. So here I've glued about four marbles in place to keep the carousel from wobbling. And then I'm adding seven marbles to the reservoir and assembling it and it's ready for a spin. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's project. And if you enjoy recycling, upcycling, and repurposing old items, I hope you'll view a few more of my videos and subscribe to this YouTube channel.